I'm just as confused as you guys are because I thought we we're supposed to get some answers. But no, we're just getting more questions and more questions. We're off in this remote island. It's not even part of the map. There's these random cute little fuzzy animals. They can talk. Why do they? I don't know. Why can they talk? I have no clue. But I think the most important thing is the ancient civilization, the ruins that Anne saw, right? Anne realized that there's some kind of nostalgic feelings tied with this. Somehow, this is all going to explain how the humans are now mutated with the toxins and becoming Wignites. I don't know. I'm just trying to guess. I think we're supposed to talk to the chief, though. Let's begin today's reaction. Foaming at the mouth? What do you mean? No, no, we're getting baited. It's not gonna be something like that. Nah, I don't believe it. Nah, they're all a little... No, they look a little evil and sinister, but I bet they're actually cute, nice people. Nah, what? <laughs> Maybe? Yes? <laughs> See, they're all the... Don't mind. Don't mind. Foaming at the mouth with excitement, I think. Oh, even Hulk was a part of it. Gotcha, gotcha. It's only the day that we're day drinking. <laughs> the Great Witch? Great Witch? Wait, wait. Okay, we gotta go talk to her. That's the next thing we do. Yeah, she is a good person. Ooh, are, are we rizzing her up? I think she's already been rizzed up to an extent. That's a big line. Like, that goes for everybody. But what about you, Helk? Yeah, so far, we've only met the really nice demons, huh? You shouldn't generalize an entire race off of outliers, though. I think that bad people do exist in the world, whether they be demons or whether they be humans. It's not about race. It's about, you know, they're just a bad outlier. Become my enemy. That's important. Why, though? Why do they become your enemies? I, my theory still is that the toxins somehow leaked up to the earth and then all the humans either went crazy and lost their personality or retained it. Helk, I don't know, now is against them for some reason because of the toxins yeah that guy awakened as hero right okay M more past story about the humans but like tell me more what happened to Edio? why did they awaken into these heroes it's gotta be the toxins right there's some people saying, you know, you saw the crystal. Why do you keep saying the toxins are seeped to the earth? No, but Helk specifically said when we met that monster that can only be formed through toxins that he met a lot of them while coming here. Now, there's two interpretations. Either he met them on earth or he met them in the demon realm while coming to the tournament, but none of us really know exactly how this impacted earth. And now that we see the winged knights, it just has to be the only assumption we can go by. It's the toxins. The king's order. The human king, who is he? Okay, we're finally we're finally figuring out like some of the big bad people in this world. You know, him saying I hate humans in the first episode, it was funny, but there's also a deeper meaning to it. Damn. Did every human just turn into them? I mean it, that's why we don't see humans just like roaming around on Earth anymore, remember? Wait, what are they doing? Oh, right, because they didn't get transported, right? <laughs> so they're just, they're just trying to escape? Yeah, he's actually losing his cool. Usually when uh, Helk is with him, you know, he's super chill about everything. Where's Mr. Barrier? There he is. So we just go in, he acts as bait, then she kills it outside? Okay. Hmm? More wing knights. Oh, shit. They've been just fending off against the wing knights the entire time, huh? Are they heroes? It's weird to call them heroes because the heroes are evil here. One of them might be. Oh. Well, now the Hulk isn't here. I don't know. Maybe one of them does become a demon lord by uh, default. Yeah? What? <laughs> They're just like Edil, yes. Time for a barrier. 30 minute cast time. Mildly handsome shithead. <laughs> Mildly handsome shithead. <laughs> she kept saying how hot Edil was a couple episodes ago. 
He keeps bringing this fact up. She's pretty hot. What are you talking about, bro? Yo, fuck these humans. Not really. I kind of have an abstract idea. You know, they just want to get rid of everybody. That's pretty much it, right? Peace for the world by killing everybody. Ah, what a wonderful logic. I don't mind if she gets hurt because she can just like heal back up, right? Or like reattach that arm, remember? Kendros, get in there! Back up! Why is this 1v3? This is dead ass 1v3! Kendros! Ah, it should be fine. She can heal back up. He could have killed his friend. Kenros, this isn't working! <laughs> He's like, hey man, you don't think you can do everything. Go ahead. But the humans were trying to kill each other too, huh? I mean, that's what it seemed like they were implying. Yo, we need some fucking backup right now. Where are they? He just ate the peanut, though. <laughs> Useless. <laughs> Useless. Nobody is fucking oh, expecting anything from you, bro. Agreed. We should run. Maybe Kenro has some secret technique. Alright, bye. Yo, what if Kenro actually just dips by himself? He's like, alright. Can you carry them? Mm. Maybe objectively that is the best way forward, but I don't think he would just ditch them. Maybe backup will show up just in time. What, what's that voice? What's that voice? That's not Anne. That, that's not Anne. Oh. Cat girl. Wait, wait, wait. We got the reinforcements coming. Where's the guy that coughs blood all the time? Is he here? How strong is she really? Oh, damn, she's pretty strong. You know, the cat girl sisters, she's... Okay, she's not just fan service. We got a magician on our side too, that's right, that's right. And you know, I kind of was looking down on her just a bit because they were in like... That's right, because she dealt with Anne all the time in episode one. And I thought they were comedic relief, but no. Oh, shit. A huge run, like, nickname. Cute nickname, right? I feel like we can now. These rest of the Wing Knights are just NPCs, just side mobs, right? It's the more of the Wing Knights with the helmet on them, right? It's not just you two? Who else? Well, maybe it's just them. I, I don't know. They're not denying it. They're not agreeing. What? Like, the rest of these heroes with the helmet on really are just kind of trash there. But look at this, right? Because they haven't really awakened enough yet. These are the way we should be wary of, but even then, they haven't awakened enough, right? So it's like, there's a lot of them, but they're kind of trash. Where's our backup? Where, except the first woman we encountered. You mean Yura? Why? <laughs> What's that sound? Back up. What, uh, this is some Japanese themed entrance. Wait, wait. Hey! Our blood coughing boss! Oh shit! He actually looks pretty menacing! We don't need an army, we only need him. No, 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 he, he's one of the four lords, though. He is an army by himself. Yeah, what is that mask? Let's see how good he really is, because so far, all he's done is just simp over Anne, cough blood, right? But you know he's next level, right? Oh, shit! This mask... <laughs> Talk your shit, dude. 
He's getting serious, dude. He makes sure we never see his angry side intentionally. That's why he was like such a... Not a joke character, but... You know, so far, all his scenes were kind of a joke character moments. Oh, shit. I want to see what he looks like right now. Yeah, that mask is such a contrast. It's ridiculous. That's the last face these dudes are going to see before they die. <laughs> oh, he's still offering them. Hey, you can go home, but these idiots. These idiots. True. True, we don't have to fight. Exactly. What a noble person. Yuna, come on. Back in the past. What happened? Civil war broke amongst humans and then a new human king came into play and now it's just this weird propaganda of blame it on the demons i think they don't really know what happened in the past mm. everything goes back to the human king in the civil war oh the mask is off oh shit dude he just thought so so casually Fuck your king. We need to kill the king, man. I mean, you're still so weak that you had to do 3v1 against Hyura. No disrespect to Hyura, but still, you know? Let's go. Come on. Uh huh. This is self defense, guys. What kind of magic does he have? Plant? Base magic? Like, roots, tree roots. Like Hashirama kind of powers. Damn. He's like the opposite element of, uh, Remikins. Yeah, literally Hashirama powers. Rip him apart. Fucking just squeeze him to death. Yo, it just kind of looks like the crack and like some octopus tentacles, but they're all trees. He's one of the four lords, man! The big boss. He's not, though, right? He's not, though. He's, he's in that upper tier, but not at the very top. Uh huh. The four elite lords! Bro, he's so sick! Azdra so far has just been in scenes where it's more of comedic relief, where he's just coughing up blood, simping over Anne. Same with the cat girl. I'm not saying that she's a joke character, but I'd never expected that they were so competent. It's because they've set these three characters up, right? For them to be such like, oh, we don't really know how strong they are. You know, that guy, that, that guy like Anne's servant seems to just casually deflect the fire powers. But Anne is obviously really strong. But these were in very comedic moments. And now we see just how strong they are against the humans. Yo, the plot is getting so good. Now, Hulk and Anne has to meet the, the Great Witch to get some kind of lore about what they're doing, right? And right now, we know that the human king is there. And he's basically forcing everyone to be awakened. All the humans are just basically forced to be awakened so they... I don't know, there's some weird propaganda to wage war on everybody. And there was a civil war in the past that caused, you know, this coexistence of demons and humans to be done. And now I bet the human king is blaming on the on the demons. Bro, next episode, maybe... Actually, it looks like Azdra just kind of popped out. I was hoping a little bit more, but goddamn, goddamn, he is one of the four elite lords. And we've only seen two of them, right? Oh. It's gonna be good, but hey, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for even more content. Until next time, take care.